Hey there everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. In this video, we will be solving the first question of Lead Code Weekly Contest 219. Name of the problem is Count of Matches in a Tournament. Also, I'm using this dark theme extension. Let me know if it looks good or the earlier one was better. Alright, so let's move on to the question. You are given an integer n, the number of teams in a tournament, that has a strange rule. If the current number of teams is even, each team gets paired with another team. A total of n by 2 matches are played and n by 2 teams advance to the next round. If the current number of teams is odd, one team randomly advances to the next round and the rest get paired. So a total of n minus 1 divided by 2 matches are played and n minus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 teams advances to the next round. Return the number of matches in the tournament until a winner is declared. So we can think in terms of elimination. Each match is eliminating one of the teams. So in order to have a winner, we have to eliminate n minus 1 teams. So we will have to play n minus 1 matches to have a winner. So we can simply return n minus 1 as the answer. Let us try to submit this. And it got accepted. Now if you don't get this intuition uh, during the interview or maybe uh, during the contest, then what you can do is you can exactly simulate whatever is given in the problem statement. So by simulation I mean keep an answer. This is to count the number of matches. Now what they are saying, we have to get a winner. So we have to run a loop while n is not equal to 1. The number of teams remaining is not equal to 1. So if n is even, in this case, we have to do answer plus equal to n divided by 2. These many matches are being played and total number of teams remaining for the next round will be n divided by 2. Otherwise, the number of matches being played are equal to n minus 1 divided by 2 and number of teams going to next round 1 plus n minus 1 divided by 2 and then you can return the answer this is basically a logarithmic solution the earlier solution with the intuition was a constant time solution there's not much difference there so if you're not able to get the intuition during the uh, coding rounds then you can simply simulate whatever is given in the problem statement I hope you like the video if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification to our latest videos. So now let's move on to other questions of the same coding round that we will be covering up in the next video. Thank you.